In this context, we're pleased to be joined by former Israeli ambassador to the U.S., Danny Ayalon. Danny's also a former uh, Israeli deputy foreign minister, and we're pleased to have him checking in by telephone this morning from Israel. Danny, welcome back to America's Forum. Thank you so much, uh, J.D. Always great to be with you. And we are pleased to have you on this, the first day of Hanukkah and the celebration of the <laughs> yes, Festival of Lights. Happy Hanukkah, yes. Happy Hanukkah to you. And quite frankly, things have not been sweetness and light and happiness at the United Nations for Israel. What about this latest push at, uh, at the U.N. regarding the Middle East, specifically the uh, relationship between Israel and uh, the Palestinians? Well, I'll tell you, uh, J.D., I, unfortunately, I'm not very much surprised by uh, the new move of the Palestinians. They have been trying uh, for years now to isolate Israel, to uh, uh, discomfort it, to condemn it. And they use a very convenient platform uh, for them, which is the, the United Nations and other uh, international uh, bodies, because they have this automatic Arab and Muslim majority. Uh, but this has always stopped short uh, at the Security Council because of the American uh, uh, position and, and veto. Uh, now, we see a real campaign, very intensive campaign lately by uh, uh, the Palestinians. Uh, we saw it in Europe. Now we see it in the Security Council. And I hope that uh, there will be enough countries who will not let it happen because it's not only going to be uh, uh, not constructive, not going to help one bit, neither the Palestinians nor the Israelis, but it can really uh, start a slippery slope of one-sided resolutions, unilateralism instead of cooperation. Danny, about two and a half minutes remain in this particular segment, though you've graciously agreed to stay with us through two segments on the program today. Obviously, yesterday in Rome, a lot of speculation on that meeting between Prime Minister Netanyahu and Secretary of State John Kerry. Uh, what are you hearing came out of those talks yesterday? Well, what I hear is that the secretary uh, was non-committal. He uh, has not agreed to commit to uh, any position yet at the uh, Security Council, which uh, I think is also, uh, in a way, unfortunate, because for one thing, the United States has always been the indispensable country, and I, still it will, I believe it will continue to be so because of your moral uh, standing and all the other capabilities uh, Certainly, uh, Israel and the United States are natural allies based on uh, interest and, of course, strategic outlook and then basically our, our values. Now, to let the U.N. butt in to what traditionally has been the United States' uh, role would be very, very bad. So I hope and uh, pray that at the end of the day, I think it would be better for everybody's interest and certainly all those who seek peace that uh, this resolution will not come to being. Little more than a minute remains in this segment. Danny, I'm just curious, when does a diplomatic initiative become a diplomatic attack? And in your uh, mind, is that what is transpiring now under the aegis of the United Nations? Absolutely. I, I would say that the difference is the, the collaboration. Once you start an initiative, which is, uh, could be proactive, of course, but it could be also overreaching to the other side, trying to really sort out the differences together in an honest way, uh, this would be a good diplomatic initiative. But if you try to force somebody, something on the other side without taking any um, concern uh, of uh, the other side's interests, then it can just uh, backlash and fire back, backfire. Danny Ayalon, the former Israeli ambassador to the United States, sir, we thank you for your time and we appreciate the fact that you are going to stay with us. When we come back, we'll get Danny's evaluation on the state of the relationship between the nation of Israel and the United States. We'll also talk to him about other subjects of interest as news continues to develop around the world vis-a-vis -vis Islamic terror. America's Forum returns right after this.